everyone. Good evening. Thank you for tuning in to my uh, mom premiere taking charge now. I'm Delphine here. I'm a working mom to three lovely children. So with me, I have Jasmine here, uh, Lydia, as well as Catherine. So we are all moms who has uh, a PSLE kit this year, as well as mom who has actually gone through the PSLE struggle before. So and is preparing for the next one to come. So I have the honor to invite all these three moms on this series to share how they manage, they actually manage, you know, uh, this coming examination. So let's welcome Jasmine, Lydia and Catherine and to share with our audience more about yourself. Yes, Lydia. hi, I'm Jasmine here. I'm a stay-at-home mom to two adorable kids, age um, 12 and 7. Yes, Lydia. Lydia. Hi, hi everyone. Yeah. My name is Lydia. Uh, I'm a working mom in the financial industry and I have two awesome boys. <laughs> Catherine. Hi, um, I'm Catherine here. I am a stay-home mom, full-time stay-home mom to my fantastic four kids. <laughs> <laughs> so my eldest is uh, 16 this year, my second is 12, the third is 7 years old and my number four is uh, 20 months. Mm. Thank you, three of you. Okay, let me just share a bit about my, um, you know, my my process, uh, my experience with my PSLE kids. Uh. I have a 14 years old girl, so she took her PSLE two years ago. So then coming this year, I have my um, second boy who is in P6 this year, and my next one is actually P3, so which will be in, in another three years' time. So there is some struggle that I actually um, came across, you know, uh, during my working life uh, when I try to manage you know, their exam, preparing them for it. So that's why I invited uh, these three wonderful moms to actually share with us, you know, uh, was there actually a moment uh, when when your child is preparing for the exam that you wish that you can actually spend more time with them, with him or with her, and what was your struggle then? Because this is what I, you know, I, I personally, I felt lah. <laughs> I have my own struggle as well. Yeah. <laughs> so Jasmine, you want to share yours first? Yeah. Um... Actually, my struggle start when my my number one, uh, my firstborn enter primary school. You know, <laughs> I don't show it in my expectation. It, to me, it's just that every day, every day is a struggle. <laughs> every day is a struggle. You know, it's like you, you suddenly, I was a working mom then. So time is already a constraint. I think the biggest struggle is when you are at work and then the school call you or you uh, receive message from school that they have certain homework need to be done. But you know that he, he's only P1 and he need, he need guidance. And the thing is that he's only P1 and you know by the time you reach home, by the time I reach home, it's around uh, 6 plus 7. After I settle down myself, it's around 8 o'clock. And he's, he's, he's already very tired. So can you imagine when you ask a very tiring kids to finish homework? I tell you, <laughs> it was a very long night. <laughs> yeah, 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 true. Every night is a very long night for me <laughs> the moment he starts primary school. So actually, I didn't wait. Um, I, I really foresee that when he reached P6, right, um, my struggle will be the same like most of the mom who are taking care of P6 uh child then because i have colleagues who who went through that and i always tease them <laughs> that time I'm, I'm i mean for me it's still a long years to go so they have to apply leave um to cope with their uh to guide their child uh, for their pslE preparation so i also tease them who is the one sitting for pslE is your son or you <laughs> but then but then of course after after i went through um um guiding my boy when um he's on his school works right then i'm a working mom so i already start to prepare myself and actually also at that point of time how i wish is that i can be a stay-at-home mom and that's the reasons um that's the reasons that i start doing what i'm doing now so that i'm able to stay at home to guide him and i'm i'm happy that it is on time <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah i don't it's need to apply to leave now <laughs> true you are your own leave uh approval yes 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 right <laughs> Yeah, then I think to, to for me as a working mom then, right, hmm. um, I think my biggest struggle is finding time to guide him on his schoolworks and, you know, especially when he was P4. You know, P4 is like a, a critical year for most uh, preschooler, uh, for primary school, primary school uh, kids. Yeah. I don't know, like P1, P2, okay, somehow we manage through. Hmm. Then come to P3, okay, not so ideal, but it's fine. 
but come to P4, that's the stress that come in. P4, yeah, okay. the level actually increase. Yes, correct. Then you just realize that, okay, you need to do something. Yeah, but then, you know, the time is out. My my biggest struggle is finding time to manage everything. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it becomes very frustrating, actually. It's like after work, you need... And when you come to P4, there's more school homework as well. Yeah, yeah. and if they do not actually, um, you know, start from young to learn the techniques and things like that as they progress they find it very challenging it's also getting very stressed out on ourselves because it's, it's very Correct. challenging as well yeah but delphine you said something it's true because we are not uh, i'm not always there since p1 you know so mm -hmm. there's there's no routine and there's no conditioning so when come to p4 you try to make more him into certain routine is very difficult yeah Correct. yeah how about yeah. lydia what is your struggle on your end Okay, so for me, as uh, my son took his PSLE last year, and then I have one more taking the PSLE next year. So um, last year, I believe all of us know that was the year of COVID where we were all had to, um, there was, Singapore was under a lockdown, so we all had to stay at home. So at that point, it was really very stressful because it's like, uh, on one hand, you have to manage your work, and then on the other hand, you have to manage them at home. And also, although... You know, like PSI, I thought, okay, fine, I'll outsource. So he has tuition, he has holiday program. But because of COVID, everything goes online. Yeah. <laughs> so at that point, because it's like at that point, because it was, everything is all happening at the same time. So we were not prepared. So while you're working, and although you're outsourcing, but because he's right beside you, you are you have to monitor to make sure that he is not being distracted and he is like doing his work. And then you have to... Then after you need to take the pictures and you have to scan. So there's more work I need to do. So that was a struggle because I had my deadlines to meet. Wow. I mean, I'm still working, right? So I have my deadlines to meet. I have my calls. But at the same time, on the other side, it's like, mom, I need help. I need help. So, so many times I would have to say, no, I'm busy now. I have to handle this call. Uh, you try to do first. So at the end of the day, when I finish my work, right? The work that I was given to him, there was a lot of star because I said, if you don't know, you just draw a star. So <laughs> everything you don't know, he gave me a few pages of a lot of stars. So I was like, because to him, he's like, yeah, you say you don't know, I put a star, right? So, but then I'm so exhausted from the demands of my work and, you know, during the day, you have to prepare for your meals. So that was the part that I felt like I didn't manage to put, I didn't manage to give him my very best or the attention that he required. And also, um, you know, during that time, because you don't really have a routine. So um, during last year, the PSA, there was some change in syllabus. So when there's during the prelims, you know, there were like some schools that um, they were selling the prelim papers. So I rushed to buy the new new set of prelim papers for him to do. It was a little bit like a headless chicken. You just follow whatever other people is doing, you just do. Because you didn't have time to sit down with your kid to understand your kid. You just mm. think that by doing, you think that by doing this, this is what is good for him. So in the end, you bought the papers, and then but you don't have time to do with him. You don't know how to do. And then at the end of the day, it's like, do you blame him or you get frustrated saying that I spent so much time and so much money? But that's because that is my thinking of what I can do for him. But that wasn't what he was. That wasn't the kind of support that he wanted. He needed at that point in time. So that was the struggle that I had during last year, during the COVID years. Mm, I think the COVID PSLE. period mm. actually make things worse for a lot of us, you know, for, yeah. child, for the parents as well. Yeah, it's, it was <laughs> unexpected, I would say, you know. So that's why we must really, you know, always be on a standby mode, you know, for such situation to come, you know, when, when it really comes. How about Catherine on your end? You have a fantastic mm. fall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, for me, this year is double challenge, right? Because of uh, um, O-Levels and also PSLE. So my eldest is taking O-Levels. My second one is actually doing PSLE, right? So actually, to be very honest, I feel for my, for, I mean, since, I mean, like you say, right, you, you guys may think that I've been through one round of PSLE, so more experience. But to be very honest, um, when I came, to, I mean, I, I come to think about it, I, I was so busy with work, you know, like four years ago. Yeah, I don't really remember I spent much time, you know, uh, revising uh, PSLE with my boy uh, as compared to now where, you know, I'm, I'm a stay-at-home mom. You know, I at least I can follow through what is the strength and my weaknesses uh, of my girl in terms of the subject and even topics. But now I have totally no memory of <laughs> how my number one got through his PSLE because 
back then it was really a very um it was the peak of my career i would say so <laughs> i outsourced like like what did you i know i the most thing is everything is like to me is i i just need to outsource to you know third party and you know just pay whatever <laughs> he needs you know yeah. whatever revision whatever tuition he needs you know just to make it for PSLE right but mm. I think I agree what Lydia said is that sometimes it's not about the tuition or you know the 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 tuition that we have given to them it's more of the support that we need to be there yeah. for them mm. uh, when yeah it, it's not just the you know the, the academic support but I think yeah. physically and mentally support you know is, is also very important because mm -hmm. you know now my 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 eldest boy will still tell me you know mommy uh i don't remember much about you helping me with PSLE. you know, like, you know <laughs> yeah but i think you're helping it's more on all levels now. yeah so it's like uh i it's, it's like then you know i i, I it really you really i don't want to say shock me la, but you know what he told me one day was that you know if back then if you were helping me as much as you are doing it with me now for all levels right maybe i would have done better i was like mm, okay <laughs> it's like you know the mom guilt start to mm. come in already because mm, mm, yeah you were yeah. to yourself yeah maybe at the point of time yeah all i thought was that you know by giving you enough tuition by sending you to all this you know uh enrichment classes it will classes. make up or, yeah whatever mm. you know short for that, that 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 you need to to take mm. the PSLE exam but coming to think about it i think you know really if i compare him his time versus the, the sister time now right right my, my, my second PSLE uh going mm -hmm. on I find that the we we as parents we need to be there for them especially they take this major exam the reason why I say mm -hmm. that is because a lot of time it's not because they cannot do well in the in, in, you know in in the subject it's a lot of time I think they need the kind of encouragement at some point where you know certain certain things if they you know are not doing uh too well or they are weak in I think as a parents we come in as a cheerleader for them to really tell them it's okay in fact um my girl was quite upset with her prelim results uh which i as a parents think that it's totally fine already <laughs> we're very honest because she she's a very competitive she has a very competitive character so uh she is very disappointed that she didn't uh score as much as she wanted to for this prelim so i told her it's actually okay you know because to be honest, I think she did her best. I can see the effort that, you know, she put in. But mm -hmm. you know, at the same time, I think their 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 school themselves, you know, even the tuition center is giving them a lot of stress, a lot of push. Yes. So it you know it, it makes them feel that you know um like you know I I I need to really do my best you know uh, uh you know just to prove to them that you know uh, I have really put in my best. But I told my girl actually you know to be very honest if you really done your best because this is really psle to me is really a checkpoint right it's a checkpoint you know in you know at, at this age it's like not i mean it's not the end of you know the, the life so if you have done your best i think you is good enough right so as a parent yeah as long as um you know you know that your kids has put in their best right you know that you know they have tried you know if, even though it didn't meet your expectation i think as a parents we still need to you know um you know be, be a cheerleader to them uh, at this point of time especially this year where there's so many disruption to you know their studies their learning right so even as parents i think we are also struggling to cope you know sometimes i also got mixed up you know, is this online offline you know I was like, yes, yes, yes. This is, yeah, I, sometimes I, I cannot even figure out are you, are you doing online today or are you doing online today? Like, okay. I mean, as long as you're managing, it's, it's okay, you know. Well, so, can you, can you mix up different I, I don't know because I got four kids. I can yeah. I tell you, I got four kids. So, to me, uh, wow, this tuition timing and all this enrichment timing is giving me, you know, Mm. so i really have to one paper down still schedule working, down to write everything in yeah if you're still working it's even worse you got your own work schedule <laughs> wow this i can yeah. imagine i i to be very honest if i'm working full time now i don't think i can cope with yeah you know cope, mm. cope with all this you know things that are happening around them like you know uh do they need to switch to online offline at certain th you know point of the time and suddenly mm. if you know there's a <laughs> you know the school suddenly call for it's like you know you need to do home-based learning wow i tell mm. you yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
a lot of supplementary classes as well like, for the for the you know for the graduating yeah. uh, batch as well yeah so yes, all this correct. actually is it's quite hard to actually manage mm -hmm. if you are actually working at the same time we can that, that actually when you mentioned uh i i suddenly recall of my five love languages <laughs> mm. so it's the affirmation actually that they actually mm. need to receive from us as well yeah. and uh you know some periodic or actually my, uh, daily hugs with them you know that the action yeah actually it does help to increase um their level of um, confidence you know which will actually yeah. helps in their their um how they actually take the exam mm. all right mm. okay uh back to jasmine i have a next question for you so why do you decide actually to you know um start on this online business and what do you uh, want to actually achieve from here actually um one of the reasons why i want to start this online business is you know um from what i know is that if i want to have the time flexibilities right going online is the way yeah so and and that's what i need most that's what i need most and and i really at that point of time um one of the reasons is actually to prepare myself to be to be able to stay home when my boy um when my boy is p6 so i i achieved this milestone which i'm very happy and then yeah this is this is really what i want to achieve and <clears throat> i i really can feel the difference yes because i really missed out so for from mm. p1 to p5 honestly i don't really know how to guide him now that he's p6 but i also realized he don't need me to guide him he just need me to be there mm. so when he's do homework i always ask him to do it in the study room he want to sit next to me so I, I i i realized that that you know it's it's like what leader and catherine your share is it's not just just outsource i also outsource i really don't know where should i how should i guide him but it's like when they are doing homework they just need you to be there honestly mm -hmm. i don't even know exactly i don't i just watch what he's doing and then he will he will be chit chatting with me what he's doing and and he enjoy it <laughs> he enjoy it so so for me is that now it's just um um what I really wish to achieve from this online business is to have more time for the children. So now it's like um, I already experienced what I have missed out when when he started P1. So now he's P6. I'm, I'm, I'm there for him when he's preparing for his national exam. And I'm also uh, there for my girl who, start, started, uh, who started P1 this year. It's, it's really very different. You know, suddenly I, I feel that I'm in... Um, I'm more in control of what's going on in school. <laughs> yeah. Actually, so, yeah, we're more involved. We have more time to actually mm. be involved in, you know, their daily lives and as including their academic, uh, um, um, you know, achievement as well. How about yeah. Lydia? Mm. I think, um, like it's I was saying, next because, year. Mm. yeah, next year. So, um, just a short thing that's like, just my older son, he didn't do well for his, PSLE, but he was at the point where he can decide whether to do express or normal. So mm. um, at the point in time, right, I told him that at least you are given a choice that you can choose whether do you want to be a big fish in a small pond or a small fish in a big pond. So that was a very good conversation that I had with him. And I also um, actually used that to talk to my younger child that, you know, like in life, it's about having the choice. So I also want to have this choice, right, whether do I want to continue to work or do I want to be a stay-at-home mom. And without compromising on our lifestyle so like we say that you know like last year because of covid right the whole um digital part even in the industry that i'm working in has been expedited everything has been very very fast now so digital is the new way to go and with digital things are going it can be doing concurrently and it can be like for what we're doing now it can be it's automated it's 24 hours so even though while we're busy with our kids everything is still working in the back end because we can free up our time to let the digital part of things right to do the the, the work while we can focus on what on what matters most to us which is time with our family and time with them so so i feel that um it gives this empowerment and also the choice like it's this this very important part that we should not be working for the sake of working but at least now i work because i enjoy what i'm doing i love the challenges but at the same time if one day i decide not to I have the choice to be able to do so without compromising my lifestyle. Yeah, so that is yeah. <laughs> Catherine, over about yourself? Yeah, so um, uh, for three, myself, because I have this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. By then, we'll be very seasoned already. 
I've been in the corporate world for 18 years already. Uh. You know, last last December was the time where I really slowed things down. And, mm. uh, you know, at that point of time, because I know that my eldest is doing his uh, O-level and my second is doing PSLE, so there was no intention for me to go back to look for a job and, you know, to go back to that kind of, you know, wow. Uh, hectic lifestyle where you know because because my job back then was very tedious is 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 i think i did uh you know i i worked in the mnc so most of my morning and evening time is all on conference call so actually i'm physically at home but you know i am i'm not there right so because half the time i will be on conference call my kids cannot talk to me <laughs> right so yeah so um that's why i decided to took a break and then uh this year i thought it was like a critical year for the two so i thought you know it would be a good time for me to really you know be with them especially covid is kicking and you know there are so many disruption to their their learning yeah. so i i i am glad that i made that choice uh, to be very honest because uh i i think they are happier and i think you know this year was really a year where i started to get really involved <laughs> in the education <laughs> system <laughs> right so um you know at least today you ask me what is my girl strength or weakness in terms of each subject i can tell you you know yeah <laughs> right? actually it's really a difference I right yes. yeah, yeah, you, yeah i mean even though i don't teach her but roughly i know okay is she good in paper one is she good in paper two you know <laughs> yes but, yes yes but if you if i if i look back you know at uh you know when i was in my in the working days right to me really it was like oh okay sign uh. you know you come back i need to sign okay i sign but <laughs> i don't have the kind of time to yeah i don't have the time to really drill down into you know uh where is your weakness you know where where you need help because it, it, i just don't have the bandwidth or don't have the energy because when i'm working full time back then right so now i feel that like this year was really the year where i really start to know the singapore education system <laughs> And same really here, know, same here. You know, yeah because once you stop working and you can get more involved right mm -hmm. because when you are on this digital business honestly it gives us the kind of time a lot flexibility and it allows us the, you know the time to be uh, you know to, to spend on the, the with our kids on their revision mm -hmm. so you really let me have a very good look at what exactly they are learning in school you know <laughs> so actually we get to know what is their favorite subjects as well yeah you know which Correct. section yeah. of the paper that actually is their <laughs> best uh so it's, yeah. it's really in depth to know to understand as well when we actually have this uh free that time you know to be devoted yeah. to them mm. yeah. share with so, you a very so, funny so. thing <laughs> now i i also feel very proud that i remember when is their spelling <laughs> when is my <laughs> spelling <laughs> And, and I am able to sit down already. and give them spelling and things here, you know. Oh, this yes, is really yes. an achievement for me. Yes. Yeah, otherwise, yes. most of the time is out of my, my, I'll get, you know, my hobby or, you know, I'll just quickly do it with them without really checking whether I, did they write mm -hmm. the words correctly because got no time yes. and they're going to, by the time you are done, they're going to sleep. So it's, everything is like, you know, mm -hmm. we just have yeah. to get it through. Yes. This is really time mm -hmm. where I, I will sit down and say, hmm, okay, I have to redo this. This is not good enough. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and stuff like that. So yeah, so it makes a lot of difference whether you know you can dedicate yes. that kind of time on the kids, you know, mm. uh, education. You know, compare. I mean, I'm just doing comparison. You know, just last year and this year, that's a huge difference for me already. Right? You have last a lot year, of I achievement never, actually. <laughs> yeah, I I never had the luxury of really going through. You know, you know every single thing with, with them. You know, mm. and really knowing, understanding what they are learning. So this is yeah. really a. A learning year for me to be very honest <laughs> with them it's, right it's a new master yeah, for you. <laughs> yeah yeah so so uh like i mentioned right uh why why i started also why i the reason why i, I started this online was really because i see you know it, it really it it really blends in what, what i was looking at at the beginning of the, the year right i wanted something that i can work from home i wanted something that give me you know the time freedom to still continue to be you know around with the kids and work around my schedule especially the kids schedule because i send them to school i ferry them back you know from school i drop them off for you know classes so i can actually play around you know uh, my, my time around this digital business which is really what i i you know i have been looking for because i for myself definitely i'm not i if i know if i go back to look for a nine to five job i will never be able to do this right yeah so yeah, that, that was one of the, the 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 key factor why I started on this um, digital business. Yeah. 
Thanks, thanks, thank you. Yeah. Okay, it's really truly amazing and uh, inspiring to hear from all the three amazing mom. I really, you know, salute all of your, you know, especially fantastic four. It's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, the courage to actually take control of your future. You know, from a working mom, uh, all of us from a working mom to a stay-at-home mom, be there to with our kids, and then we really take control of our future with real action. So this is how you know. Um, all of us at, uh, in this uh, like-minded community, we all wanted a better future for ourselves and our children. So if you wish that you can be with us to start building an alternative plan for your future, to have more time with your children, you know, and not um, having to worry about finance, do check with us. So you can sign up at our complimentary uh, webinar you know, uh, right below here for more details. So with this, I would like to thank all three mummies. Thanks for sharing your great thank experience you. with us so that, you know, all the moms um, who are having kids with PSLE or no PSLE or coming PSLE, we know, you know, they know what they actually have to plan for, for, the, for a better future. So thank you for watching and do stay safe and healthy. I'll see you all again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Bye-bye.